All right, so we have this rational function and we need to find the point of intersection between the function and the normal at x equals to one. So let's do a quick sketch of this to first understand what this question is actually asking. So your rational function looks something like this. You know, there's a vertical and horizontal asymptote. That's not super important. And then at x equals to one, which will probably be like somewhere over here, we're going to have a normal line. We want to find the intersection of this normal line and this function, which is basically this point here, because we already know this point. Pretty simple, we can just sub in the function. We're not looking for this point of intersection, we're looking for the other one, which is the one right over here. So in order to do this, you want to first derive this function. We've got to derive it with quotient rule. So my quotient rule is f prime g minus g prime f divided by g squared. This is my f prime x. I'll just simplify this a bit. So 3x minus 15 minus 3x plus 9 over x minus 5 squared. And then we just have negative 6 over x minus 5 squared. The next thing I want to do is I want to find my slope of my tangent line at this point over here. So to find the slope of my tangent point at line at this point here, I'm going to sub in x as 1. That's going to give me my slope. So negative 6 over 1 minus 5 squared. I'll just do this in my calculator. I'll do it mentally as well. It's just negative 3 over 8. So the slope of my tangent line here is negative 3 over 8, which means the slope of my normal is just 8 over 3. Just did the negative reciprocal of this and got this. So now I want to find the equation of this line. So I'm just going to go y equals mx plus b. I know that at this point here, x is 1. I can sub in x into the original equation to find my y value at this point. So if I sub in 1 into this equation, f of 1 equals to 3 minus 9 over 1 minus 5, which is negative 6 over negative 4, which is basically negative 1.5. So I know negative 1.5. So this graph. Oh, sorry, positive 1.5. This graph is not 100% accurate. It's actually slightly higher at that point, but that doesn't matter. So 1.5 equals 8 over 3. My x value is just 1 plus b. So 1.5 equals to 8 over 3 plus b. And then I'll subtract this on this side. 1.5 minus 8 over 3 is just negative 7 over 6. So my equation for my normal line is y equals to 8 over 3x minus 7 over 6. That's the equation of this line here. So now I just need to find this point of intersection. To find this point of intersection, I just have to make the original equation here equal to this one and solve. So 3x minus 9 over x minus 5 is going to equal to 8 over 3x minus seven over six. I'll start by making a common denominator on this side. So I'm gonna multiply the top and bottom here by two. Then I will cross multiply 
So six times three X minus nine equals 16 X minus seven times X minus five. I'll expand both sides. So 18 X minus 54 equals 16 X squared. 16 times five is negative 80 X minus seven X plus 35. And then I'll bring these two terms and subtract them on this side. So zero equals 16 X square, negative 87 minus 18, minus 105 X. And then 35 plus 54 is just 89. Now you want to factor this. You can factor this with quadratic formula if the numbers are too hard for you, but man is pretty simple here too. So 89 times 16 is 1424. My A is just negative 105. My two numbers, I always test out these two numbers first so the numbers are really big and guess what? It works out. It's just negative 16 and negative 89. So now I'm gonna go zero equals 16 X squared minus 16 X minus 89 X plus 89. I'll factor by grouping. So 16 X, X minus one minus 89 X minus one. And I'll continue over here. So I have X minus one times 16 X minus 89 equals zero. So your solutions, X equals to one x equals to 89 over 16. Now you know that if you got x equals to one, your solution is like 99% correct because that is one of the points of intersection that the question gave, which means that the x value here is the other point that we found, which is 89 over 16. All you have to do now is sub this into this equation here to find the y value. So I'll squeeze it in here, y equals to eight over three times 89 over 16 minus seven over six, and I'll put that in my calculator. I get 41 over three. So basically the other point of intersection is 89 over 16 comma 41 over three.